So everything derives from mono behavior. Remember the start and update functions and the collision functions. I think I've gone through most of this. So this is a sample C sharp script. Um, the class name must equal the file name, otherwise it won't like that. If you want to add it into the interface, into the user, in, into the main Unity editor, sorry, you can have this command here: add component menu camera control slash mouse look. And so what I'm going to do now is go to camera control slash mouse look, and it's within the editor now. So if you need an, if I were to remove this line, it wouldn't appear in the editor anymore. You can still add it, of course, using this. Uh, mouse look. You don't have to have every script added into the editor, which wouldn't be very practical. So if the, um, if the, cam if the mouse look wasn't really on the object, it's added automatically when you add the script? Sorry, say, say again? So if the mouse look wasn't on the game object, and right. you add your new script, it would add the mouse look script to it? No, that would... This line here simply, if it's a script that you use a lot, for instance, and you like to assign objects by going, I don't know why my alt tab is there. It just, all it does is sticks it here within the kind of main menu up here. It's on that, you don't need to do that. Uh, yeah, so the class name must equal the file name. Here we have public variables. Any public variable, y y you've seen within within uh, my project um, some variables that are accessible in the object inspector. Those are all public variables. If you want to edit it within the in within the inspector, you must declare it as public. If you don't want to, then uh, simply don't, and it won't appear for you there. We have a start function here, and we have a large update function, which I've um, hidden, so it doesn't just it doesn't take up the entire screenshot here. But this is where most of the code happens. Okay, scripting. I I know I haven't done very much actual scripting, but do people understand the basics of? I can't teach you C sharp as well. Um, so the best way of going about it is to look at some sample projects. I'll package up all of this stuff that I've shown you so far and, and more, and um, so you can take a look at them. Quick question. If you had variables that were public so that they were, their value was visible yep. by the inspector, uh, what about, uh, is, is it a lot of work to make variables that are editable inside of the inspector? So you have a script, uh, how many, you, you had you made it by degrees, right? What if I want that to be all oh, right, okay. Let's just do that now. It's a good idea. Oh, okay, I've still got Visual Studio. I'm not going to be able to do this because of the highlighting. All right, so let's um, make a let's make this value into a variable. So it's a vector variable. Um, oops, uh, my root. Okay. Um, and let's just leave it completely blank, so, so we won't initialize that, uh, and just set that. So what I've done here is I've just defined a public vector three my rot, and then when I rotate it, I assign it within, uh, assign it to whatever that is. Within Unity now, that will compile, and now you can see I've got my rot here within the within the inspector. It's nicely done my space rot because of the capitalization. If I were to call it my rot without any capitals, it would just call it, oops. If I would, um, it would just call it my rot. It's not so easy to know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. OK, so we've got that here. Uh, haven't got anything at the moment. Let's just press play, see what happens. Should be lying on its side. Yes, very nice. Uh, now, okay, the mouse control is a bit annoying because I can't 
see it. Okay, you can just drag up and down or, or just enter. So, whatever. Can't see what's happening, but it's rotated to some strange offset now. Yeah, exactly, yeah. at runtime as well. And remember, when I stop playing, those values, if I you know, tweak this teapot to be exactly at this rotation, then uh, as soon as I press playing, it's gone, it's gonna be zero. So just remember that.